Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'll be talking about how to improve your performance for Madden 24 on PC. And I'm mostly doing this because my experience with Madden has been great in terms of performance. My laptop can run it, my computer can run it, but a lot of people cannot run it. And I got a comment on my video saying that his 3060 um, i5 computer couldn't run it. Now, ironically, that's what my specs are for my laptop. So I found it very strange that this incident kept on happening. Yeah, kept keeps on happening, excuse me. Of course, I want to help out. And this is just my basic tutorial on how to improve FPS for Madden. This will not work for everyone. Maybe this won't work at all for anyone, but I just want to see what I can do. So let's get right into it. So one of the most obvious things that you would want to do in order to improve FPS is to just open up Task Manager, right click on Madden 24, and then set priority to high. Now, me personally, I don't have any issues, so I'm not going to do that myself. And another thing is that if you have an NVIDIA card, I'm assuming that there's going to be a tutorial for AMD somewhere to improve FPS, so you go look up for AMD. But I have an NVIDIA card, so show more options, NVIDIA control panel. If you have G-Sync enabled, I don't know if this is for better or for worse to disable or enable it, but you can play around with it if you, you know, have G-Sync enabled. Uh, but for now, what you're going to do is that you want to go into the mastery settings and then go down and power management mode optimal power you want to change this to, to perform uh, prefer for maximum performance um you also want to have texture filtering quality for high performance i actually have this activated so if you guys don't have this activated as to high performance um try that because i actually have that as high performance right now and i mean matt still looks pretty good but since I have it on high performance and I play with Madden like this, maybe this works for you guys. I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas for you guys. So you open up the GeForce experience like so. Drivers. I actually have a driver needed to download. So I guess I'll, I'll do that. But, you know, you get the idea. You have to install the latest driver. Eventually, there might have DLSS 3 for uh, Madden because that's I think they usually have something similar to that for Madden. But, you know, you get the idea. Oh, yeah. By the way, make sure that any use setting that requires you to select either uh, integrated graphics or, you know, your card, make sure that it's set to your card because that's very important so that the computer can actually use your card to do things. So obviously check that. And of course, this next step is a bit self-explanatory, but close any applications that use a lot of CPU or GPU in the background, you know, and maybe even just close into that backup background applications in general, like eventually something might happen. Another thing is to change your power plant to high performance. So favors performance, but may use more energy. I have it set to that. And you can also overclock your GPU. Um, I'm not one to, to tell a tutorial on overclocking, but you, if you guys want to look up a tutorial on how to overclock GPU, go ahead. However, do bear in mind that if you put it at a high like overclock level, it will cause um, issues for your computer. So make sure to keep it like tame. And if it doesn't work, you could try like a little bit higher, but I wouldn't advise going above the recommended settings for overclocking for your GPU. Also, here are some other options online that might help you. So locking the max FPS to 120. Especially if monitor has a refresh rate above 120 hertz. So if my monitor actually has a 144 hertz. It works perfectly fine with this. But if you have it, ex um, you know, experiencing lag or anything like that, then you should probably cap the FPS. Turn off any camera blur option. Camera blur does cause a lot of lag. Um, toggle front lens flare. You know that those are these are little like shader things that affect you know performance just a little bit. Uh, turn on the crowd quality to medium. That's self-explanatory. Change power plant to ultimate performance. Well, mine is just says high performance, so yours might say high performance as well. If you're an NVIDIA GPU, try turning out adaptive V-Sync in your NVIDIA control panel. So, you know, obviously all these solutions might work. And unfortunately, the last piece of advice that I have for you guys is to wait for a patch because unfortunately, this is a problem that stems from EA, not from your end. And so EA needs to fix it so that all of us can live happily ever after on a very buggy game known as Madden 24. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it, this video helps you out in any way to perform. If it did, make sure to subscribe 
and maybe watch my Madden streams because I stream Madden. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.